Okay, so what we see here is the water governor in operation. You can see the fly ball rotating around the shaft and the sleeve here is going up and down and a fixed pivot where the ball is connected to a master swap and to the sleeve. Here is the diagram of the watt governor and we can see the sleeve can go up and down through the shaft. For the watt governor, we have to take note that the mass of the sleeve can be ignored compared to the mass of the fly ball. Let us now put notations for our reference. Let's say the rod here has length L and take a horizontal line as the reference for the height of the ball and the distance to the center of the shaft and let's put the length to the pivot as h. Now let's observe here that when the speed of the shaft is increased, the sleeve goes up and the ball also goes up approaching the pivot. We can see that h is now getting smaller. Let's prove this using mathematics. Let's first return the sleeve into its original position. Okay, the shaft is spinning with angular speed omega. Because of the rotations, each ball has centrifugal force at radial directions. Let's denote this as Fc. If the radius of the rotation is r, then Fc equals to m omega square r, where m is the mass of the ball. Now with this centrifugal force directed radially, there will be a moment developed at the pivot. Remember the concept of moment where if we have an arm rotating at the center of rotations and if we have a linear force perpendicular to the arm then the moment developed at the center of rotation is m equals to f multiplied by d therefore the moment due to the centrifugal force is the force multiplied by the arm perpendicular to the force which is h and the direction here is clockwise and the moment is therefore given by mc equals to fc multiplied by h. The other force that acting on the system is the gravitational force with r is the length of the arm and the direction here is anti-clockwise and thus the moment is mg equals to m multiplied by g multiplied by r. And for stability, the net moment at the pivot must be zero. If we agree that the clockwise direction is positive, then if we arrange the equations, we have sigma mp equals to mc minus mg equals to zero. And therefore, we have fc multiplied by h equals to mg multiplied by r, where fc is m omega square r. We can eliminate m and r, and we end up with h equals to g over omega square. Okay, so what we have here shows the mechanism of the watt governor, where as the speed is increased, we have the length of h here get smaller, so the balls and the sleeve goes up. On the other way around, if the speed is slower, then the ball and the sleeve will go down. Okay, so this is the concept of a watt governor, but one thing we have to keep in mind that the watt governor can only work for low speed. For higher speed, we need to add mass to the sleeve and this is called Porter governor. Okay, hope useful. See you in the next video.